happy Friday. Welcome, come on in. I hope you are doing what, uh, I just went to dry my hands and this towel had all paste on it. So now I have all paste on my hands. Welcome, come on in. How are you, Hayden? I just got paste all over my fingers and my hand. How are you? Happy Friday. Hi, Gwen. How are you? Happy Friday. Okay, that was kind of crazy. I've actually been working all morning. Hey, hey. Hi, Sue. Haven't seen you in a while. Come on in, guys. Hi, Kim. Welcome. Hi, Sherry. Hey, Sherry B. I am doing awesome. It's Friday. Um, which means my other daughter dog will be coming today. You know, these kids get dogs, but they forget they have a social life, and at some point, people have to watch their dogs for them. Yeah, so, but it's my sister's birthday. We're going to be celebrating her on Sunday. So I will have a house full and even more dogs because everybody brings their dogs. Guys, I never bring my dogs anywhere. Well, I only have one now, but even when I, when I had three, when I had two, and I only have one, I, I never bring my dogs with me anywhere I go. But these kids bring their dogs everywhere and they come to my house all the time. It is crazy. All right, so. We are going to do a pillar stand project. I'm going to show you a couple things first. Guys, it even smells good. I'm telling you, I'm still in denial. I still cannot believe we don't have these available. Hey, Peggy, welcome. So, like I said, I'm kind of using the ones I have in my inventory like gold, which is kind of sad. But um, for today's project, I did go ahead and I created a cart link. And of course, you can add to this cart link or delete from it to make it your own. Most of you have all the paste colors that we're using today. I think I'm using two of the new ones. Other than that, they're all older paste colors. So a lot of you probably already have it. We're using... Yeah. Me to Glenn. I, it's my favorite. It is my favorite. Hey, they brought the very back, right? Who knows? Um, so, you should have the paste colors, and if you don't, you can change up this design to the, any color that you want. I actually started working with this partridge, or I, I kind of created a, a couple weeks out from now, and I'm actually doing this partridge in a Thanksgiving color and a Christmas, a holiday theme, not today, but I have two projects lined up for this partridge because you know I love reusing, 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 right? Carol, how are you? How have you been? But before we start this project, I want to show you guys something. I know I gave you a little peek yesterday, but I'm going to number these one, two, and three, and I want you to tell me which one you like the best. Um, I think I mentioned that these three Highland cows are all going to go on the same frame with the same back, backdrop. They're going to be interchangeable per season, okay? Um, so I don't have bows, I don't have embellishments, but I want you to tell me which one so far is your favorite, okay? So picture seasonal and picture bows, okay? So this is the first one. And this is just like a watered down, um, it kind of looks coppery, but it wasn't guys. It's like a watered down bock, believe it or not. It's because I had painted the base a dune color. 
All right, so this is number one. I'm gonna push it up with this one. Number one, okay? This is number two, and this was done with black velvet paste and white, ink, white paste. Hi, Vincetta. Okay, so this is number two. And then this is number three. So again, it doesn't have embellishments or anything. Um, we're gonna do all that later on. And this is, I did all this in watercolor using watered down paste. So let me know, one, two, or three. So one, two, we used to do this all the time, remember? Two or three. Let me know what your favorite is. I'm looking forward to finishing these guys up. Oh, hey Laura, how are you? So far, number one is in the lead. Okay. All right, there's that. Let's work on today's project. We have a lot going on, y'all. We are going to do some Mod Podge. We are going to do, hey Cheryl, um, we, ooh, we've got some twos rolling in now. So one and two. Um, I'll show you again at the end. I don't know which one my favorite is. Maybe if we, maybe if I line them up and you saw them. I don't know if I can do that. I don't know. I. I don't know. I won't know which one my favorite is until I finish them. So one, two, or three. I think I need to finish them before I can decide which one I like better. But anyways. So today we're going to be doing Mod Podge. We are going to be using the pillar stand. We've got some ribbons, we've got lots of paste, and we've got one of our new transfers, okay? I put the cart link together for y'all. I tried to add in as many single paste packets that were available, and actually, guys, I, there were a lot. So there were one, two, three, there were four um, single paste packets of these colors that I'm using, if you didn't want to buy a full jar. I know a lot of you just like to buy a little at a time. Especially if it's a color that you're not going to use, and you're going to see this. In the cart link, I actually added um, my Shimmer Olive, and I went to use it. I could have sworn I had another jar, and I don't. And, I mean, I could play with it. I choose not to, and it's so dried out. So I'm just picking another green color to use today. But, um... And feel free to do that, okay? Don't feel that you need to use all these colors, guys. All right, hey, Dina. All right, so let's go ahead. The first thing we're going to have to do, y'all, is we are going to have to Mod Podge, all right? Today I'm doing this a little bit different. I'm actually using glitter Mod Podge because I'm using a couple of those glitter paints, okay? So I thought it might be pretty to have a little shine on it. But you know what? I think. Do I want to do this for? No, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. All right. So chocolate chip, and that's on the cot link as well. Okay. So we're just gonna put some Mod Podge, and you don't have to use the glitter for the base if you don't want to waste your glitter Mod Podge. You can use regular Mod Podge, but I'm gonna do this on the base as well. And then I will have glitter all over me. Did anybody buy that glitter? Um, the glow in the dark glitter that we talked about the other day. All right. So here's the wallpaper that I'm using. I cut a smaller piece out. So straight for you all. Isn't that pretty? Show me some hearts if you like it. I think it's so dainty looking. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and set this down. I wanna get all the colors in here too. And you can 
iron this down if you want. Because I'm going to put Mod Podge over it. I'm not too worried about it. So let's go ahead and I'm going to cut some of this before I actually sand it. Probably. Can you see already like the little sparkles? I, I don't uh, I don't know if you can see, but I promise you it's sparkly. I promise. looks really pretty sparkly, guys. Hi, Maria. How are you? Alright, let me get this Mod Podge off my hand. Close this up. I still can't um, like I'm hoping I don't have to use the wire cutters right now because my husband just left. <laughs> I took out some greens, but I won't be able to cut them because of my shoulder. I can't, I can't do that. So if I can't do it, we might have to use it. All right, there is that. Get rid of this. And then we're going to start our project, guys. All right, so far so good. Hi, Deb. To Deb. Hi, Deb. Hi, Debbie. How is everybody? Welcome. Thanks for coming on a Friday afternoon, guys. All right, so this, let me talk about this transfer. So this transfer comes in two, it's a B-size transfer, but there's actually two separate transfers on it, okay? You can use this project in our drop-in frames. They would look awesome. You can use them, like I'm using it today, I'm using one on a pillow skin. I may do this on the drop frame, in the drop-in frame. I don't know. I have no plans for this side at all. It's not to say that I'm not going to use it. Just today I have no plans, but I have many plans for the partridge. So, it is considered, y'all, a um, holiday transfer. So if you're thinking at the end of this, you may like it, you may want to purchase it sooner than later, okay? Only, again, because it is a holiday one. And there's no guarantee how long they're gonna stick around. Aw, Deb, thank you. <laughs> thank you, darling. All right. So because it's a new transfer, 
I'm just going to put a little lint on the back of it. And remember, these pillow stands, we haven't used them in so long. There's, there's really no right or wrong way. There is a screw on the base, but it will screw into any, any side of this. We used to have it where they used to drill a hole and you could screw it right in. Back in the day, these used to come with little wooden uh, tabs and not screws, like you used to poke the wooden tab through. Does anybody remember that? I still have some of those. Isn't that funny? All right. And we are going to use this whole transfer, okay? So I'm just going to put it right in the center. And because I'm using a lot of colors, I'll probably go ahead and do um, paste and pull. You want to make sure you get all those air bubbles out, guys. Now, with these new transfers, they're um, more translucent, so you can actually see if you're doing layers. It makes it easier to do layers. Even though we're using lots of colors, this is considered one layer. So I think we're going to start off with, um, let's go ahead and do, I may just go straight in order and paste and pull. So like I told you, on the cart link, I did add the moss and I added the shimmer olive. I'm not going to use the shimmer olive because mine is dried out. I thought I had one and I did. So I'm actually gonna kind of just merge both the jade, I think I did jade, jade and the moss for all the greenery, okay? And then for the pears, I'm kind of using, I'm kind of doing something a little different with the pears. I'm gonna use our new saffron and I'm also gonna use bumblebee. Okay, and I'm wondering if I want to do hot mess. I might actually mix these two together just to brighten up the saffron a little, but not too much. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's do, there's not many pairs, so I don't want to, remember, you, you don't need a lot. This is so... This is so mustard, isn't it? To me, it looks mustardy. All right, let's do that. And then let's do a little bit of this bumblebee. And like I said, I'm just brightening up the saffron just a little to make our pear like a yellowish golden pear. Just so it's not as mustardy. That would be the dog's funny. Okay. Let's do that. So green leaves. We're going to use the pears, and let's do that first, and then we'll work our way down to the partridge. All right, so let's do a little hot mess on the leaves, and so we're just going to take the green and kind of blob it because I'm going to use both the greens, but I want to give it like a a 2D type effect. And I'm going to keep the stems the same color. I'll do that down below later. Let's do that. And then let's add some jade just to lighten it up. Now you could do the stems all jade if you want.
And we'll do this with the greens down below too. And I think that might be pretty. All right, let's work on this. So I'm gonna just use, let's do it this way. So we're just kind of gonna merge. Just kind of squish it all in. You can use your finger for this. And once I peel it up, you'll notice the difference in colors. And if you're finding that you may need to, um, if you find that the squeegee might be a little too wide for you, you can always cut your squeegees down to size, guys. So I'm just kind of like playing with the two colors together. I have a really, what I think is going to be a really pretty holiday design using this partridge. Make sure I get them all and get the stem. it for the top. And I'm just kind of like scraping up the excess. Okay, so let's go ahead and peel this up so it doesn't dry. So this is the two-tone now. Sorry guys, I can't push with that on up. Can you see it? Two-tone. Hello, Pamela O'Neill, happy birthday. I actually mentioned you earlier. Hey, Michelle, how are ya? All right, let me just get, I just need to erase that. All right, so that's two-tone. So I'm just gonna place that back down. Now let's go ahead and do these pairs. some saffron and bumblebee together. I wanted a bright yellow, but not full bumblebee yellow. Go ahead and fill these little dots in white. It's hard. 
hard to see them. They're like diamonds and dots. Shimmer just a little right here. Okay, so let's pull this up so it doesn't dry. It's really hard to see, but I'm sure you can tell, right? Pretty, it's gonna be so colorful, guys. All right, let's place that back down. Okay, let's work on our cartridge. So even though we're using so many colors, it's it's really an easy design. So I'm going to do blue and I'm going to stick with the shimmer melon, okay? So this is Ocean Mist. And honestly guys, this is another one of those transfers I think would be really pretty in all black and white. Body in the blue. Now, if you're working with our shimmer paste, it is a little gritty, hence the shimmer in it. It's like a, it almost feels like sand, so it doesn't go on like the creamy, dreamy paste that we have. Okay, let's go ahead and pull this up. Oh, you know what? Let me get this little guy up here. 
to the beak in the shore. Pull this up. So the reason why I'm doing it this way is because we're using so many colors, I don't want that paste to dry before I'm done with the project. Okay? So there's that. We're going to put that back down. And then we're going to finish off the leaves. Gonna do, let's do the same thing. Push that through. So again, if you feel that your squeegee might be too wide to get these little spaces, go ahead and cut these guys. You can cut these if you feel it's easy to work with. Um, back in the day, we only had wide squeegees. They were more horizontal than they are vertical now. So we used to cut them all the time. Okay. So we kind of have a little hot mess technique going in here. And then let's do this. Definitely just for design, because I don't think they really serve a purpose, but I think it's pretty to throw in some white. Okay, and I think that's everything. That's everything. It is pretty, the colors are pretty, wait till we get the ribbons on.
All right, let me put this aside. And the project that I have in mind, um, the holiday one, is um, holiday colors. Okay. And again, you do not need to use all these colors at all. Feel free to use colors that you already have. I really think you're going to love the Christmas one that we're going to do. I think it's a really pretty transfer. Jade is still one of my, Jade, Sage, those are still some of my favorite colors, y'all. Alright, now for our favorite pot. And bear with me, guys, because it takes me a while to tie ribbons. I am getting stronger. They measured on... Monday of this week, so day by day, but I'm getting stronger. All right, let's get our chip. So I'm hoping you can see this now. Tell me if you can see the glitter. If not, I'll take a better picture of it, but can you see the glitter? Show me some hearts if you can see it. I don't know if the light is... Maybe right there? No. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, guys. Let's play with the ribbon. I haven't said that in so long. Oh, my God. I haven't said that in so long, y'all. And we've got ribbon. Okay. We are going to stop. i got to remember how to do this. I'm going to stop with some white. And I definitely want the white to come through. So I might add some extra white. We'll see. So let's go ahead and make this our anchor ribbon. Does that sound familiar, guys? So we're just going to tie a knot. It's just a single knot. And then, let's go ahead and do some blue. And then this will be our first one. So, gosh, guys, I've been saying this for so many years. You make an awareness with it, then you just push it down. And then we're going to take this right in the middle and tie a knot. Don't worry so much about your loops right now. Yeah, see, I, that hurts to do that. Don't worry about loops right now. We'll fix that later, okay? down the bumblebee with the saffron because I wanted to give it that golden look, okay? So we're going to do the same thing. Anybody have big plans this what are your what are your plans this weekend? I would love to know. My one of my daughters is moving, so we're helping her, although 
I'm not packing or moving anything. Aww. I know, Deb. I know. It was so good while it lasted. It's not to say that it won't come back or we may not do a special project someday. Never say never, right? It, you know, it's my favorite thing to do. My absolute, my most favorite thing that we ever did was the Pillar Stand Club, by far, 100%. All right, so that I kind of like did it on a till and I'll show you all this when we're done. I did take out some greens, guys, but I'm not, I'm not sure. And we've got some melon color. And we're just going to do the same thing, and we're kind of going to tilt it going in the opposite direction. And I'm making um, it a little tiny, but it will fill it up. And I'll show you what I mean. Really just to get it and get the ribbon around it and then I'll place it. And double knot this. I'm gonna drop the white behind. I'm not gonna get rid of that. I'm going to push this melon in the front a little, and I may just tack it down a little bit with some glue, only because I want it to stay. And now this is where the, that shimmer is really shining. The shimmer is shining, guys. The shimmer is shining through. The shimmer is coming through because we have the shimmer also on the chip. Stay in and stay cool. I know it's going to be like 110 again this weekend. Alright, guys, look. 
can't see because of the comments. But can you see it? Ah! What do you think? Look at the, look at the chip. You like it? What do you think, guys? So, it is called Partridge Tree, and it is part of the holiday collection. Um, not sure how long it will be available. It's not on low quantity or anything yet, so there's plenty of time to get it. Um, I have a funny feeling it will go, and I am making a holiday design with it, so there's a good chance that, um, you know, we're all going to start using it in different ways that may be more attractive to some, but I have a Thanksgiving design that I'm going to use, as well as a Christmas design, and I'm super excited about those two designs. Um, but I wanted to show you the transfer in case you wanted to get it just because you want to get it while it's available. Okay? All right. So, my critters, um, if you are in my VIP lounge, when we are done, head on over there. There is already a special message posted. Um, in all my VIPs, I will send um, this beautiful wallpaper. Go find out how you can get yours, okay? Because I want you to make a project too, guys. So, VIPs, head on over to the lounge. If you're not in the VIP lounge, um, I can't and, and have interest in being in it. It's free group. <laughs> Just comment VIPs. It's open to my customers and designers on my team only. Um, but um, VIPs, head on over there. There's a special way that you too can have this beautiful wallpaper and complete your project. Okay? If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to message me. Um, I'm always available. I probably will be working a little bit this weekend, but like I said, we're having a party on Sunday for my sister, so um, probably won't be working on Sunday. But message me if you need me, okay? All right, guys. Thanks for hanging with me on a Friday. Love you all, and um, have a great weekend. See you soon. Bye, everybody.